Abdel Bari Atwan for more than 30 years. He was born into a Gazan refugee camp. His family is still in Gaza today. Abdel Bari, welcome. First of all, tell us, which camp were you born in? Has it been attacked? And how are your family? Actually, I was born in Deir el-Bala refugee camp. My family now in Rafah refugee camps. And at this moment in particular, the Israeli are bombing the camps there. They ask the people uh, to leave. They throw a tenth of thousands of leaflets, saying to them, evacuate your houses. It will be bombed. Leave to where? Leave to where? <laughs> you know, George, what amazed me in every war, every war, you know, people are allowed to leave the war zone to run for their lives. That's what happened when they bombed Iraq first time. What, that's what happened when the Kuwaiti, they can leave to uh, Saudi Arabia, to the Gulf states. Iraqi could leave to Syria, could leave to Jordan. Uh, but you know, when it comes to Gaza, it is a concentrated camp. You know, people are, are, cannot leave. You know, my brother, I phoned my brother. I said to him, what's this in Rafah? So what's the situation? He said, my brother, I don't know. People are grabbing anything they can and run and they don't know where to go because you know they go there they bomb they go there they bomb and the uh, casualties everywhere death everywhere and they are bombed from the sea from the air from the grounds and gaza is very small it is it's is 150 square mile for a million and a half for a million people. and a half it's flesh over flesh and this is the problem and it's you know it, I, I, I can't put it that way as if you are, you are using a missile a cruise missile to kill, you know, so, sort of, you know, a bird in a cage. That's mm. exactly what's happening in Gaza. Mm. And the problem is this, this West, who are lecturing us about human rights, about humanity, about international law, about Geneva Convention, you know, they are absolutely silent. They lost the moral grounds. You know, that's where the people can go. That's, that's the problem. Why well, Israel doesn't open its border to take those people? They say, we are caring about civilians. We don't want children to be killed. We are very careful. But we, what we have seen until now is children who are killed. Well, well over, are killed. well over 300 of the dead are women and children, and the vast majority of those are children. Uh, and, of course, the men who have died are, are not criminals. This is one of the issue, uh, issues I want to discuss with you. The BBC and Sky and the others, despite your heroic efforts on these stations to explain patiently with extraordinary patience, they continue to refer to Hamas targets, mm. Hamas militants. Mm. But given that Hamas are the elected government of the mm. Palestinians, this is the legitimate armed forces of the elected Palestinian government yeah. that are being slaughtered in police stations, mm which were built by European Union taxpayers uh, with uh, our tax money. Yeah. Doesn't it drive you as mad as it drives me, this constant equation of the Palestinians, every Palestinian fighter has to be a militant or a terrorist? This is the problem with the Western media here. They dehumanize that, that anybody who is against the Israeli or who is against the West. And they actually use this stereotype all the time in order to convince people that Hamas is evil and Hamas is a terrorist, Hamas is Islamic fundamentalist, and they don't have the right to live. And this is absolutely distortions of the facts on the ground. Again, I would like to, to refer to my family there in Gaza. I phoned my cousin, who is Fatah. And he, he is always supporting Fatah. And I said to him, how is the situation now? He said, you know, I'll tell you something. We are all Hamas. We are all resistance. There is no division between Fatah and Hamas. You know, the Israeli are bombing everybody. The Israeli missiles and bombs don't discriminate between Fatah and Hamas. They are killing everybody. So this is, this is the problem with the Western media. When you try to explain to them, say, look, you know, Hamas was elected. It has the majority in the Palestinian parliament, the, 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 the legis legislative council there. And they are entitled to rule. They set up a government. But why Hamas government collapsed simply because Israel uh, refused to recognize it. The American followed the Israeli step. The European followed the Israelis. So that's, that's the problem we are facing. But in the top of that, Hamas is a human being. You know, they don't have Tomahawk missiles. They don't have, uh, you know, the cruise missiles. They don't have warplanes. They don't have uh, anti-gun, uh, uh, anti-aircraft anti guns. They have nothing, absolutely nothing. But w when you look at the Western media here, you think Hamas is the Soviet Union in its peak? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the problem. Well, I was making the point at the top of the show that I was never myself a supporter of Hamas. I was 
always mm -hmm. loyal to President Arafat, God rest his soul, and I so wish he was here today. But uh, they have made us all Hamas yes. because uh, this unjustified barbarism is, as you say, completely undifferentiated, undiscriminated. And how could it be otherwise? If you fire a tank or from a warship mm. or drop a mm. bomb on an mm. apartment block, how can that be said to be targeting? You are killing everything in the way of the shell or the rocket. You know, George, people don't know Gaza. I know Gaza very well. Again, you know, it is the most populated area on earth. You know, you, only, you have 50% of the population under the age of 16 or 17. And it's all of them are children. What, what actually makes me extremely angry is when, when, when you look at those children, how they are going to survive, how they are going to live with these traumas they are facing every day. Yesterday, I read the report by the, the International uh, Cross Organization. They are saying that they found, they have been asking the Israeli for the last four days to go and check uh, houses in Zaytun district of Gaza because the Israeli bombed them and they did not let them go and uh, look at take the house. Take the bodies. Take the bodies. And what they, what they have seen there, they have seen children, you know, sucking the toes of their mom who is dead. You know, children, babies among dead cops there. The, the, unbelievable. Well, you know, they said we, we never seen something like this in the whole of our lives. And even in history, children are among dead bodies there. Their mothers, their fathers, their uncles, their cousins, their ch brothers, their sisters. How those people will live this trauma? You know, how those children will live, you know, when they see these F-16. Imagine using F-16 in Gaza which is no, uh, no aircraft gun, anti-aircraft guns, nothing at all. You know, my, my cousin and my, my brother told me that you cannot imagine that the, the, the scare, the, terror, the, the yeah. horror mm. on, on children when, when it starts, you know, just breaking the, the sound barriers and throwing the, the, the rockets on innocent people there. So it's, forgive it's, it's me, uh, Forgive me asking you this because I know you're a, you're a publisher, you have to uh, move in the Arab world and so on, but where are the Arabs during all of this? The Arabs are collaborators. You know, the governments, I'm talking about governments, I'm not talking about people. The Egyptian government is a collaborator with, with, with the Israelis. Imagine, you know, today I wrote an editorial in, in our front page saying why President Mubarak is for preventing doctors to go and join their brothers who cannot cope with, with the injured people. 4,000 until now were injured. And the hospitals there, it's very primitive hospital. They cannot cope with the amount of injured people. Why Hosni Mubarak and his government not allowing 100 doctors coming from all over the world to go and help their brothers who are performing uh, operations for those injured or, or, or even, even uh, you know, children? So why? When, and what, what pretext? Is when it, you know, because the Israeli, it's not safe to go. The people said, we can't write undertaking that we are responsible for and anything happened to us. Mm. said, no, no, you are not Allah. So this is collaboration. This is collaboration with the Israeli. He was Russians. embracing Livni oh, yeah. as the bombs began to fall, literally. It's he was with her in Cairo. It's inconceivable that he was not told by Israel that this savage assault was about to be launched, surely. George Sh Shimon Beres, the Israeli president, he gave an interview to a Spanish newspaper saying that the Arab governments told us to get rid of Hamas, to smash Hamas. And there were reports in the arts, Israeli newspaper, saying that, you know, Hosni Mubarak and the Egyptian government blessed these kind of uh, incursions in Gaza. So they are involved because they don't want the culture of resistance to spread on the Arab world.